Let's go. Well, here I am. Brick back bog. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! A lot of kids here, ain't there? Interesting rhyme. What are you doing in the swamp, What are kids? you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for a witch. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You looks like a witch yourself. I'm a the witch killer. W witches? Of the bog? We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, Hide them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Man, you kids are... Anyone else here, besides you? Meaning who? Someone who might have seen the woman. Like the six-eyed tree? Tree slapped all year. But there is Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You take care of the kids. You look after these kids. They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tells tales and tales, nor but tales. Are you a witch? Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay. I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose. See? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you. Okay, I'm looking for someone. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. <laughs> Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. You're uglier Maybe than the dog's her. ass. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. They're all good. Trust me on that one. Had about I've enough met of this. Both asked a simple question. You seen the woman or haven't you? Fear not, children. There's no to fear, Graham. He's only angry because he cares. Maybe yeah, Johnny that's Siri, him. the whole point of I'll my game. Take him to Johnny's I need to find invention, her. And you shouldn't be using those ugly words. To the hut. And you, stop scaring the little ones. I'd say you're scarier than me. I'm not going to talk to the boy quite yet. Because I'm going to leave all of your belongings. Because you're being kind of a dickhead, woman. Alright. I'm here to talk to the little boy. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And, and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. P 
stay gone. Yeah, I'm just gonna ask all these other kids. Screw it. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. Does your grand tree never? When she's scared, sees the boy who plays with Johnny. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare <laughs> bum on an anthill once, but yeah. And he eats snails. Yeah. Yeah. What? Have you ever seen Johnny? Have any of you ever seen? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so, and Gran knows a lot. Oh, Gran doesn't know. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to John. All right, but you gotta do something for us to. Let's play. He thinks it means he's near. No looking. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm a witcher. Hide and seek 18, is my entire life. 19, and right now I'm trying 20, to seek a woman with a scar on her face, fashion hair, and these kids want to play actual hide and go seek. <laughs> Oh boy, do they not realize? Oh, you are Found back here. You. You're the Bet you chick. Come to the cottage. Found you all. Why wouldn't we? Promised in. <laughs> okay, I got some troublemaker kids dealing dealing with this shit. Gran, Gran, Bumblebee bit Yagner and Gran. All right. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Where's Johnny? I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be a boy, because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the... Thank you. Okay. Look at this ugly little creature. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? I wish we could be more straightforward, like in society like Geralt. This where you live? Nothing sensitive. He assumed he, you know, he asked. Cozy burrow. I Good suppose location. he didn't assume. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. But it'd be like judging a race. Doesn't bother you. And all he was doing was asking neighbors. a question, and it was a fair question, and he got an answer. This is a respectful, easygoing conversation. I gotta respect this. I like this. You know the kids from the clearing well. Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. <laughs> okay. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Really shouldn't be that hard. Also, godlings are very respectful creatures. 
They don't ask for much. When they do, it's about respect. They'll give you answers, they'll help you out. But it's all respectful exchanges. They don't ask for much. So. Very good, nice creatures. I would say they're on the good side, yeah. I don't know, I haven't had to fight a harp in a long time. I don't know how to do it. Art. Art will knock him out of the sky. Yeah. Like this. Now they're all dead. I can collect this boy's voice. That is this one big monster. Let's go down and fight that too. I think I was supposed to. I think I was supposed to take this walk path. It's a wyvern. Oh, this seems pretty easy. Dang, fire really does its number on it. Ooh, my sword lit it on fire. And that's that for the wyvern. And I'll return the voice back to the boy, and then we can go back to town. Here. Was it just clean water? <laughs> he can't talk because he hasn't had any clean water. Whiskey! Slither! Ringworm! Rubbish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Ha! <laughs> the sound of it! Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickled peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Not Hang on a minute. Bad. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. Why did he lose your voice? How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. Mm. My favorite part of the day. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. Yeah. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel, 
Vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their... won't fu I've been to the village in the swamp, met a... Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me! An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived no, in my no, own no, life. not you. I heartily recommend Her. it. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. And you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her. Got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. All right, Johnny. Good. It's clear. Not a crap. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You. You got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? The ladies are the crones, no? Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. And they hurt my Siri. Whoa. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Also the crones, some witches. Ladies, lovely. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Where have you been hiding, boy? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Yeah. I've been on the Perhaps he only thing likes for a long time. Head. The only thing I'm not impatient for is good loot. So if you guys have any or know where any is. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. She's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like Sims. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. 
That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? I am a woodland oh, beast. Oh, hard times are upon Look this white-haired one. Brother <laughs> has turned you. against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. Maybe out here in the bog. A dark power has surfaced near down warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right? On me way, dagger. Gotta bring the... The dagger. For you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Whoa. One fancy dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. Well, that's it for her. We know she's working with these devil witches. And uh, in the next video, we'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. Also, I have a feeling that this is the Baron's wife. Okay, it's not a feeling. I know this is the Baron's wife. And this is some crackhead shit down here in the basement. Look at this. I'm on a loot quest. I love looting. You guys don't see a lot of it. I like to cut it out because it is really boring. Just grabbing shit. Look at this altar. And they got bones on the ground with some florins. Look at this altar. You're going to tell me she's not a crackhead? All right, guys. Peace out in the next one.